Hi everybody, Katie here from Live It Well Nutrition and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're stopping by. If you're new, please consider subscribing and joining the Live It Well Nutrition tribe. Hit that notification bell if you are a subscriber um, so that you get notified on my future videos. I do multiple videos a week, so I'd love to have you around for those. Today, I wanted to do a Father's Day recipe that's a little different than pancakes because I know pancakes are really fun and easy to do and they're kind of predictable at this point. And so I came up with a frittata idea that I wanted to share with you and you probably have things already. If you have eggs, then you have other things to throw together and you can make so many different variations. You can prepare some of the ingredients and portion them off the night before as you'll see me do and then your kids or you can just do it all in the morning. I know when I'm on the weekends we usually do a big breakfast but then the kitchen is like a disaster and so what we're doing in my home is we're working on you know preparing the meals and so we so that we don't have such a disaster ripped apart kitchen after that and we find ourselves cleaning all weekend. So if you do this on Father's Day and you prepare the night before, you're not gonna have all these dirty pans, you're not gonna have all these dirty um, knives and cutting boards and this, that, and the other thing. It's gonna be a really simple cleanup. And who wants to be cleaning on Father's Day? You wanna be cuddling with your husband and dogpiling with your kids and relaxing and not thinking about how messy the kitchen is. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this recipe. Okay, so just so you know, I'm going to list the recipe in the um, description of this video um, just so that you can easily find it. The recipe does call for half a cup of onion and as you can see what I'm doing, I'm first peeling the outer layer and then I'm going to do like a checkered pattern with my knife um, but not go. I'm not going all the way back so that it keeps intact. And then when I'm finished doing this crisscross checkered kind of pattern, I can just easily cut out my layers and get my cubes of onion that way. Nice little trick for ya. Next, you'll see me just portion it off into my half cup measuring cup and then storing it. So if you're gonna do this overnight, that's what you want to do is just store it. In the meantime, I'm going to start boiling half a cup of quinoa because I need one cup of cooked quinoa and you just bring that to a boil. Next, I'm going to start shredding three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. And if your budget allows, try to get organic cheese and also cheese that's been raised without the use of antibiotics because that makes a huge difference in the nutrition that you're putting into your body. And if you're making this breakfast for the following day, then just store it, stack it, and put it in the fridge. By now, the quinoa is cooked and I'm just going to let it sit. Like I said, use what you've got, and I've got organic field greens. So instead of the traditional spinach, I'm just gonna chop a cup and a half of this up um, into like really fine pieces, and then I can sprinkle that into the recipe. Of course though, because I'm making this for the next day, I'm gonna be storing it. We actually don't eat a lot of meat in our house. I particularly don't eat meat, um, and my husband does, and so, hence why I'm making him something with meat. But a cleaver I have found a good use for, and that is chopping my salad. <laughs> okay, now comes the time for the meat. You're gonna wanna end up with three quarters of a cup roughly um, of meat and so I'm using bacon for this recipe again try your hardest to find good quality meat that's raised without antibiotics possibly grass-fed if you can find that um, I know it's difficult in a lot of grocery stores and I actually don't use any oil just because bacon is very very greasy and so I just put it in straight into the pan and use my tongs to kind of flip it as I need.
Once your bacon is done, cooked, and cooled, you'll want to chop it into little bacon bit sized pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect, and I actually cut away the fatty pieces um, and gave them to my very grateful dogs <laughs> who really, really enjoyed this little treat. Now, if you have not yet discovered Silkeny Organic Coconut Oil, it's amazing and you gotta get it. It's raw, cold pressed coconut oil that is of such high quality and it has those um, merits or tags. It's, it's actually organic, it's a family owned company, and it's very high quality. So if you're looking for something like that, then definitely search Silkeny Organics and you just wanna melt two teaspoons in a pan to get started. So these steps can still be done the night before and that's frying the onion. We're gonna be putting our half cup of minced onion into a pan until it goes kind of clear or um, yellowish in hue. Um, and then any peppers, possibly half a cup of bell peppers, if you even have that much, just see what's in your fridge and throw it in. And then you wanna fry that up as well. Then you want to get your greens, toss those in as well, but at the very last step, because we just want to kind of steam them. I don't want them to be like mush. Now that we've cleaned up the kitchen the night before, we can head on over to the very clean kitchen in the morning and take out what we stored. Now you'll want seven eggs, and again, choose organic free range. I have a video all about eggs and the differences in those kind of free range, free run kind of stuff, and so I'll link that in the description below for you. Adding milk to your egg mixture will make it more fluffy. So I have this um, So Nice Organic Almond Milk, and it's half a cup that you'll wanna add to your seven eggs, and then just whisk it up. Now don't forget your half teaspoon of salt and however much pepper you think you want. If your husband or dad wants something really peppery, then put more in. It's totally up to you. As you can see at this point in the video, I'm already just tossing in all of the pre-portioned ingredients and mixing it all together. And this is going to be basically your batter for your muffins or your frittatas. <laughs> now you'll want to use a high heat tolerable cooking oil like this Silkeny organic coconut oil for lining your pans if you don't have muffin liners. Then you just want to throw in your mixture. It's not going to rise a whole bunch and if it does it will kind of flatten back down once it cools. And with regular size muffin tins it will make about 20. Okay, so as you can see it's really simple, it's really straightforward, it's only going to take you a few minutes. If you do it the night before, you can portion everything off, keep it in the fridge. It saves you so much time on the morning. You probably want to be sleeping in and cuddling and it will definitely decrease your amount of kitchen cleanup. If you do it the night before, clean up the night before, then really what you're doing is just putting it all together and stuffing it in the oven and you're good. So. Definitely consider that when making this recipe, but again, it'll be so easy and quick if you just do it all the morning of. So, depends on the person, depends on you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm counting every follower, you guys. Every time I get one follower, one new follower, I am like over the moon and I tell everybody and I celebrate and so, Let's do that. I am still reaching, like I'm at 67 now, and I'm ecstatic about that because that grew in the last few days. And I'm really, I'm gonna do something to celebrate 100. I'm not sure what, and I know to you guys, it might just be like, Katie, 67 is nothing, or 100 is like not a lot of followers. But to me, that is really, that means a lot. So I'm gonna do something to celebrate. 100 because that's like a milestone for me the hundreds I guess I do multiple recipes and videos and mom talks and stuff like that a week of multiple So I'd love to have you around for that and have you join the live it well family and tribe um, But until next time live it well because you only live once and happy Father's Day Bye <laughs>